my view is that, as I said, particularly early on, if I were a school and I had young kids, kindergartners, first graders enrolled, and I knew that some subset of those kids were left-handed, I would use that to pay a little bit more attention to those children just to make sure that they were developing in the way that, that I expect a child of that age to develop. Again, th the increased risk for problems, though it's statistically significant, is not huge. It's not that you should worry if your child is left-handed, uh, but you might want to pay a little closer attention. So I would see that as, as helping schools that deal with very young kids, just catching at an early age, might a kid be at a slightly um, elevated risk for something like dyslexia. Um, I should also say that from a policy perspective, this does point out uh, the challenge that given that what I see in my data is that the way that your brain is wired from birth has very important impacts on how you do in school and subsequent life outcomes, it does point to the fact that actually even once a kid arrives in school as a five or a six year old, there are a whole host of factors that are already beyond the school's control. And so that if we think about education policy in this country or labor market policy in this country, we may want to pay more attention than we do to the kinds of factors that affect kids when they're very young, even when they're in utero. So things like mother's health, infant health, for example. That's, that's what I see the implications of this research pointing toward.